Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2022 Mathematics. Today we will discuss the question number 25 to 30 with the help of the again shortcut to XR. Myself, Dr. Gar. You can watch the previous questions from start from the 11 to 24 which are available all in my YouTube channel Dr. Harish Gar. The channel name is here. You can find all those even, even, even for the previous year GATE 2021 complete solution available all are my playlist CSR net gate IIT James channel name is Dr. Harish. You can simply follow this link for finding this various one. So let's start with this one. So uh, this is a system of the equation AX is B and which of the following statement are true. It means it has more than one correct option. And they are talking about the Jacobi method, Gauss Seidel and the spectral radius. So firstly when whenever you have the AX is B then if you apply the either the Gauss, uh, Gauss Seidel or the Jacobi, Jacobi method this will converge when this matrix A is your diagonal dominant once the matrix A is your diagonal dominant then it will converge for any initial vector x0 that's a simple property about this Jacobi and Gauss -Hedel. now what is the meaning of this diagonal dominant the diagonal dominant means if you consider about the first row what is the diagonal entries is 3 take the absolute value if it is greater than the sum of the other two values then it is a diagonal dominant you can see 3 is greater than of the 1 plus 1 that's fine similarly for the second row 4 is greater than of the 1 plus 1 uh, 1 more of us that's 2 similarly for here 3 is greater than of the 0 plus 2 it means these conditions are satisfied hence it is a diagonal dominant once it's a diagonal dominant it means the Jacobi method converts for any initial vector is a correct statement Gauss Seidel method is also convergent for any initial vector. What is the spectral radius? Is? Spectral radius means that is the largest eigen value. This is the largest eigen value of the Jacobi iterative method. What is the Jacobi iterative met method? Is d inverse of l plus u. So since it is a convergent, since Jacobi method convergent, so it again implies that the spectral radius of if I call this as a h, then the spectral radius of this h must be less than of the one is there so it means this option is also correct one look about the first part now you have to find the jacobi iterative mat matrix that is a you have to find d inverse of l plus u can you find the value of the d from here d is nothing but the diagonal entries 0 0 0 0, zero and so on this is there now you can easily find the inverse what is the l plus u this is nothing but 0 1 1 1 0 1 2 0 0 now if you multiply them you can see this the diagonal entries so the lower entries are my 0 here so what are the inverse of this here so you can see the determinant is 36 so if you take the cofactor this is a 12 so it is nothing but my 1 by 3 1 by 4 and 1 by 3 now clearly says that when you multiply them the first value will be 1 by 3 sorry the first value will be 0 and the next value will be 1 by 3 but here is 1 by 4 so it means this matrix will not be uh, will not be true for this. Similarly, for here is 1 by 3 here, but this entry is not true, so this is the wrong state. Look about the another one. So, the number of the non isomorphic abelian group. So, I will tell you the shortcut trick firstly. If you have any of the group which has order in the form of this p1, p2 raised to power n2, and up to say pk and k, where what is that? pi's are my prime and n i's are there then the number of the non isomorphic is nothing but the partitions of n1 n2 and so on that is the answer of this is partition p capital p partition of the n1 partition of the n2 partition of the n3 and so on up to the partition of n k so what is the meaning in this case you can see 2 3 5 are my prime numbers so what is the answer of this is partition of 2 that is a power 2 into partition of 3 into partition of 4 now you know that what is the partition is how you can write the value of the 2 I can write as a 1 plus 1 only or I can write as a 2 so therefore the partition of this is my 2 similarly what is the partition of the 3 I can write as a 3 I can write is as a 2 plus 1 or I can write as a 1 plus 1 plus 1 so there are the 3 partitions 2 multiply 3 and how you can write the partition of the 4 so I can write this partition of 4 as either 4 either as a 3 plus 1 either as a 2 plus 2 
either as a 2 plus 1 plus 1 or either as a 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So how many partitions are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 6, 5, 30 is the right answer of this problem. Look for the next one. Again, now in this case, this is a number of the subgroup. So again, we have to same thing if you have the group of order this, if you write this in terms of partition uh, powers and p where p i's are my primes and n i's are my power then the number of the subgroups is nothing but my n1 plus 1 n2 plus 1 and up to the n k plus 1 that's a simple r whenever you are talking about the non isomorphic abelian group then you have to write the partition if you are number of the subgroup of the cyclic group then you have to write like this way so what is the answer of this so i can write 12 as 2, 3, that is a P prime R there, so it's the power 1. So what is the answer of this is 2 plus 1 because of this N1 plus 1 and 2 plus 1. So 3 multiplied 2, 6 is the right answer of the problem. Look about the next one is there. So how you find the radius of con one question we definitely ask in the gate examination related to this. So firstly, I will tell you the shortcut tricks about that. So whenever there is a series of say a I can say B n B of n because A is already be there then how you can find the radius of convergence so the radius of convergent will be I can simply write 1 by B either you can write this as limit n approaches infinity a n of this this is the radius of convergent or you can define the radius of convergent to be 1 by B of limit n approaches infinity a n plus 1 upon a n so i will solve the with the help of the both the methods so what is the b in this case if you compare the b is my 2 so it's a 1 by 2 what is the limit what is the a n is 3 raised to power n plus 1 of 1 by n so what is that this is 1 upon 3 1 plus 1 by n so what is that when you take the limit as n approaches infinity so it, this is a 0 so it's a 1 by root 3 that means root 3 by 3 this is the first method what is the second method is if you apply this way so again the power will be 1 by 2 so what is that limit of the a n plus 1 what is the a n plus 1 is 3 n plus 2 over 3 n plus 1 so what is that 3 n plus 2 that's a 1 by 3 of 1 by 2 so that means again root 3 by 3 is the right answer so you have to write in the two decimal places you can divide them so let's say root 3 divided by 3 so that is a 0.577 is the so since you have to write in the two decimal places either you write as a 0 0.57 or you can write as a 0.58 is the correct answer so remember this is the one of the shortcut tricks for you whenever it's a z raised power 2n or z raised power bn b can be positive negative it can be written like this okay now the next one is the number of the zeros and it is a complex so you have to firstly do this graph so center is zero radius is one so this is my unit disk over here this is the circle which is given to you now whenever you are trying to find the number of the zeros how you can find the number of zeros you always remember the one result called as the Roche theorem what is said that if there are the two function f and g whenever this condition hold f is greater than of the g then f of z and f of z plus g of z have the same zeros inside the circle c that's the meaning of that's the statement of this so it means if i consider this values 2 is here minus 7 plus 2 z cube minus z plus 1 so from here you have to define 1 as a f 1 as a g so that f plus g is complete will be here how you can take the f and g uh, i will tell you a shortcut tricks so look about that this is a circle over the z is 1 so you can think about this function and check which one give you a maximum value like here so what is the absolute value of this so this will give you over this circle as a 2 what what is the value of this is give you a 7 this give you a 2 this give you a 1 this give you a 1 so maximum value corresponding to 
seven z cube. So I can take z as seven here. Then the rest of them, that is my here plus two z cube minus z plus one. I can take as minus also. So that f plus g is nothing but my here. Now, as per this, you can see f is greater than of the mod of f is greater than of this. That's two because what is the mod of this? This is nothing but the seven. What is the mod of g? So we all know that this is nothing but the two plus two plus one plus one, which is nothing but my six, and this is greater than. So this condition satisfied. Therefore, f and f plus g has the same zeros inside the circle C. So how many zeros this function has? How many zeros? See, this is the polynomial of degree five, which is lies in the here. So the number of the zeros are my five. So the answer of this problem is five. So you have to consider f in such a way whose magnitude value is greater than of magnitude value is positive more than among the one. So if if I say this is z is two, for example, in this case, then what is the absolute value of this? Is a two raised to power seven into here. This is. Seven into two raised to power five and so on, and then take the max value among. Okay, look about the last one is there. So f is a polynomial of degree five, and these are the distinct points of this. So this is the x zero, x one, x two, x three, x four, x five, and x six. So there are the seven points are there. But f p is a polynomial of degree five. So I can consider any of the arbitrary five points are there. So let's say x minus x zero, x minus x one, x minus x two, x minus x three, x minus x four. These are my five points. So let's say find the value of the alpha. So if you open this, firstly take i is equal to zero. So this is p of x zero. This is the inverse. I can write here. So i is not equal to one. i is not equal to. So this is my x zero minus x one. X minus here and so on, plus p x one upon this and up to p of x six over this. Now clearly says what is the p of x zero? It's a zero. P of x one zero. P of x two zero. So the only thing is p of x five and p of x six. So what will the coefficient of the p of here? This is x five minus x zero, x five minus x one. Up to x5 minus x6. Similarly, up to the here, I can write this as x6 minus x0, and up to the x6 minus x5. Now, if you find the value of p of x5 here, what is the p of x5? x5 minus x0 that will be cancelled out. x5 minus x1 that's cancelled out. Up to the x minus x4 will be cancelled out. So this portion will becomes you x5 minus X six only. Plus, if you take x six, x six minus x zero will be cancelled out. X six minus x one will be cancelled out, and the last part only will be x six minus x five. So, if you take the LCM of this, it will give you zero. So that means alpha is my zero. So once alpha is zero, you can substitute here. What is the right answer of this problem? Is the one is the correct answer. So this is the way you can solve these all five questions in a very simple way. We will see the next lecture on the the next questions, thirty one to thirty five, in a very simple manner. Till then, you can simply follow the playlist CSR Net Gate, IIT Gems channel name Dr. Harikar, where you can find the previous videos. I hope you can like, share, and comment this video with your friends. Best of luck, students. Happy learning.